Hey guys, it's Lesson 55. We have a little bit of calculus, trigonometry, and uh, just an introduction to brain surgery, which is really important. No, we don't care. That's, that's not true at all. Okay. I just thought it would be a, lot, be a lot less intimidating if you saw that first and you went, no, no, mom, please put me back in public school, put me in reform school, put me in boarding school, take me out of this old guys. Okay. Anyway, how about, does, that, does this sound less better, a little bit better than that? Fractions, decimals, percents? Does that sound a little that sounds a little, sounds worse. Okay. Anyway, boarding school? Go look up some boarding schools. Hey Siri, what are some local boarding schools in my area? Okay. All, right. All right, let's write one-fifth as a fraction, a decimal, and a percent. And basically, we already have it as a fraction. To write it as a decimal, you've got to remember, when you see any fraction on Earth, this is a division problem. Fractions are division problems. This is the same thing as saying, I have one pizza. I'm dividing it among five persons. How much does each person get? That's it. In other words, this is your pizza. There are, you know, a one-fifth. We all know that this is one-fifth, right? Okay, so in other words, that's how much one pizza divided among five people get. It is a division problem. Make sure you keep that in your brain. Fractions are division problems. Okay, so to turn a fraction into a decimal, one over five, you just simply do the division. Now look, don't do this. Oh, it's five. No, it's not. Okay, that's five divided by one. This is one divided by five. Okay, boom. You put a little decimal there. Well, five into 10 is 0.2. That's it. That's your decimal. The percent, any number in the world with a decimal, you can turn into a percent simply by moving the decimal over twice. So in other words, if this is your answer, 0.2, if you move it over twice, one, two, you have to put a zero there. So that's 20%, that's all there is to it, okay? I've got another, if you go online on YouTube, I have another um, free program, it's called Math Tips and Tricks and whatever, and it teaches people how to do like fraction, decimal, percent conversions very quickly, you can even do it in your head. Okay, you can look at that if you want to. Okay, so let's do this. Find a decimal equivalent of 51 hundredths, okay? That's turning a fraction into a decimal. Well, like, just like we did a minute ago, we turned a decimal into a fraction. We move it over twice to the right. To do this, we just simply move that over twice to the left. So 51, you know, out of 100, you're just gonna move it over twice, it's 0.51. The percent equivalent of 51 hundredths is just, you know, 51%. That by definition, that is, that, that's, you know, part out of 100 is, is a percent, so 51%, okay. So reference numbers, you can use those if you want. So, and just don't worry about too much of what that means. Just look in your book and see how they work this. And let's, let's actually do this. Let's complete this table. Begin by inserting 51 one hundredths reference numbers. Okay, so let's go fraction, decimal, percent. Well, a fraction is going to be 51 one hundredths. A decimal is 0 0.51. And a percent is 51 percent. Okay. So anytime anybody tells you, oh, find this fraction, this decimal, blah, blah, whatever. Okay, if they say this is 25%, turn that into a decimal, that's just going to be 0.25. You move it over twice. It, you know, if you have a percent, move it to the left twice. If you have a decimal, move it over to the right twice, and you'll this will be very fast pretty soon. The fraction is, of course, 25 over 100, which you can reduce to one-fourth. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's complete this table. All right. Well, begin by inserting the reference numbers. Okay, well the fraction, 51 over 100. You can use that, you can use anything you want really. Decimal is 0.51 because we're dividing this. Percent is 51%. Now, the thing about this one is 1 16th. The decimal, again, you've got to remember that a fraction is a division problem. That's what you're doing, but you're not, this is an easy division problem because with divided by 100, you can just move over, move over the decimal twice. Okay, but this one, you're gonna to have to actually go through and do the long division. So you're gonna to have to go, okay, 1 16th, one divided by 16, you have to kind of have to like go like this with it, okay? And it won't, 16 won't go into 10, zero times. And uh, you're gonna to have to go, okay, well, zero times 16, there's 10 left over. Now you're gonna go oh, 16 into 100, we'll go six times. Then that's gonna be 96, be four left, four left over. So 16 into 40 is two and 
that'll be uh, another zero. And if you want to, there's an eight left over and that'll be a five. So this is your decimal point zero six two five. I probably did that a lot faster than you would, but no big deal. But this part you should be able to go. Once you find that decimal, what do you need to do? What did you do to this 0.51 to make to say, oh, that's 51%. You just moved it over to the right twice, right? So you move this over to the right as well. 0 0.0625, move it over. That is 6.25%. There you go. That's all there is to it. Okay. Your practice problem on page 179. Let's take a look at that. And uh, let's just do it. We can just pause it and do it. Okay. You can insert the reference numbers if you want. That's 51 over 100. The decimal is 0.51. The percent is 51%. Okay. A fraction is 1 8th. Well, you know what? Let's do the bottom one first here. 0.22 is easier. The decimal is 0.22. That means the percent is 22%, right? Okay. The fraction will be 22 over 100. Now, you could reduce that to 11 over 50 if you wanted to. Okay. This second one here is going to be the, the trickier one. 1 8th, which means 1 divided by 8. This is a division problem. Make sure you get that down. 1 divided by 8 looks like this. I'm just going to kind of go like that. Okay. 8 into 10 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. 2 left over. All right. 8 into 20 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 4 left over. 8 into 40 is this. 0.125 is your decimal. Now, to change a decimal into a fraction, you simply move this over twice to the right. So your percent will be 12.5%. Okay. All right. You'll have one or two of those today. Knock them out. Have a great time, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.